Today's story is Sean Loves Sharks uh, by Curtis Manley, pictures by Tracy Subasak. Sean Loves Sharks. And if you notice, he's wearing a hoodie with a shark head. You should watch the, his clothes. That tells part of the story. So watch the pictures. Sean loves sharks. He loved their streamlined shape. He loved their dark, blank eyes. He loved their big mouths full of sharp teeth. He loved how they could sneak up on something tasty and grab it in one big bite. I don't know if you can see that, but that's his cat in a fish costume. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Sean thought about sharks all the time. When Sean ate, he opened his mouth wide for each bite. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Sean watched shark videos, knew all the shark movies by heart, and had 127 shark books. At recess, Sean opened his mouth very wide and chased the other kids, especially Stacy, who screamed the loudest. Sean loved every how everything got out of the way of a shark. Chomp, 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 chomp. On Monday, Miss Mitchell told the class they would each learn about a different predator. Sean leaped out of his chair and yelled, I get the shark, I get the shark. Please sit down, Sean. Everyone gets a chance for the shark. Each of you may pick one animal from the bowl. He's at the back of the line. Doesn't look good. The animal Sean picked was not a shark. It wasn't even lion or tiger or grizzly bear or orca or Tyrannosaurus rex. It was leopard seal. A seal, whispered Sean. Great white shark was picked by Stacy. Sean said, I'll trade with you. He said, I have to be the shark. He said, I'll bring you cookies every day. Stacy shook her head. She smiled. She opened her mouth very wide. At home, Sean looked through his shark books, hoping that what he remembered about sharks and seals was wrong. It wasn't wrong. He hoped Stacy wouldn't find out. She found out. Tuesday, on the playground, Stacy leaned close and said, Did you know that sharks eat seals? Sean nodded. But not if they can't catch them. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Stacy opened her mouth very wide and ran as fast as she could, but she couldn't catch Sean. <clears throat> Sean loved how a seal could twist itself around in an instant and zip off in a different direction. The more Sean read about seals, the more he loved seals. He loved their streamlined shape and the patterns on their smooth fur. He loved their big brown eyes. He loved their sharp little teeth. He loved how they could sneak up on something tasty, like a penguin, and grab it in one bite. The more Stacy read about sharks, the more she loved sharks, and the more she chased Sean during recess. Chomp, 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 and after school, chomp, day after day until Friday when Sean stopped running and faced Stacy. You're not much of a shark if you can't even catch a seal. Stacy closed her mouth. Her eyes were not blank. If you look very closely at the picture, it looks like she's going to cry. On Saturday, Sean remembered something about people. He filled his wagon with 126 shark books and pulled it to Stacy's house. 
Did you guys notice the costume the kitty's wearing now? He's a penguin. Sean loved seals. He also loved sharks. And he knew that even a fast and clever seal could never be friends with a shark. Well, almost never. The end.